Maxie, you know, most times we never are actually able to see the face behind the voice when we dial 911, especially when that person has been through all the good and bad that goes on in the hub city. KLBK Skylar Soto caught up with one very special dispatcher today. Skylar. Well, I caught up with Miss Heron today before she hangs up her headset and no longer has to say 911, what's your emergency? And after 34 years, her last day is tomorrow, but the impact she made in our community will forever be appreciated. And on behalf of myself and the team here at KLBK, we thank you for your service. Yes, it, it definitely was worth it. Lily Hearn has served the city of Lubbock and its people for 34 years through the good and bad. I started to work on July 4th of 1988. Oh my gosh, that's a long time ago. Just ready to leave Plainview and come down to the hub city. She says becoming a 911 dispatcher just kind of happened. I said four years and I'm gone because <laughs> I was going to start my other career that I had planned. But it's just the the constant talking to people, helping people. 911 grew. 911 actually didn't even exist when I started. You can ask anybody down there, they say, you said you were gonna retire 10 years ago. I say, yeah, I know, but you know, I had to come back and see what happened tomorrow. She has worked alongside police, EMS, the sheriffs, and state agencies, always feeling a part of a protected team. 10, 14, I'll miss that sisterhood, brotherhood, uh, even though there are days that you just wanna, uh, but at the, end, at the end of the day, it's okay. I'll miss the family and I'll take away of uh, just knowing that I had a small part in, in all the stuff that goes on. So we asked Ms. Hearn what some of her most memorable calls that she has taken. The chases, those can get exciting because it excites us even though it's, it's, it's dangerous, but it's exciting. After her Different. last dispatch call on Friday, September 16th, what's next? I'll leave that in God's hands. So if I pick up that 911 call and it's somebody who needs me to help them out or they just got a wrong number, that's, it is what it is. I, I, I don't regret one minute of it. I plan to do some serious traveling, but uh, as far as what will happen Monday morning, I don't know. I'll just have to wake up and I'm just going to take a day off from not having to get up at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> That's the first thing. I'll enjoy that. But the first thing on her bucket list is a no-brainer. Greece, Santorini. I can tell you that right off the bat. <laughs> yes, Sant that, that's been a dream of mine for years. I can't wait. I would tell anybody, give it a shot. You'll, you'll, you may be here another 34 years. Somebody's going to be here. They haven't broken my record yet, and they're saying they're not to, but I'm waiting to see. And if they don't, oh well, I'll take it. Skyler Soto, KLBK News.